Hi, this is Mike from the Minnesota State Bar Association. With all that's going on right now, I thought I'd take a moment to share some tips for using the communities at my.minbar.org. You know, when we adapted the service back in 2016, it was quite controversial because it replaced um, the listserv service, which was very popular among members. Uh, this kind of switch was controversial not only for the Minnesota State Bar Association, but for bar associations across the country who were adopting these online forums in place of the traditional listserv service. So why were we making this kind of switch in the first place? Well, uh, aside from uh, basic security concerns and the like, uh, the online forums just offer features that one might expect from a more modern information service. For example, the ability to search for content. Um, oftentimes in a discussion uh, post on a community, you might hear an apology uh, saying something like, you know, I'm sure somebody's already asked this question before, but etc. cetera. Uh, here on the communities at my.minbar.org, I just plugged in a, uh, here in this case, a statutory reference, which makes a good search term because it's kind of a unique uh, uh, term. Uh, and it's searching uh, uh, across all forms of content. So not just the discussion posts, which I can see that there were some conversations here about this statute of limitations, uh, but also it's uh, finding for us uh, references in libraries and, and other content. So we're, we're searching here, which is, I think, a great additional feature, especially for uh, newer members who may not be uh, as comfortable posting for the first time or for folks who might feel a little, a little tentative uh, about making an initial post. And by the way, um, if I grab in uh, here, if I click that link to view the library, I have access to the library for that particular uh, content. I also have the ability to view the library entry itself. This is a valuable feature, especially valuable to me for someone who is uh, monitoring this content. Uh, all our members are, are welcome here to comment on items that they find within uh, a library. Um, so if you might need to recommend an edit to a resource that's in the practice law library, for example, you can do that here by clicking the green add button and just typing in uh, your message here. Uh, we review that and that's something that uh, I find extremely valuable when we need to update content or um, a community manager um, in another community might need to be uh, thinking about uh, revisions that they need to make to their content. So, uh, so absolutely jump in and that's another great way to post a message um, uh, to the community at the communities at my.minbar.org. Posting a message itself. Uh, now, of course, you can always use the communities uh, in email alone, just as if it were the old listserv service. But there are some benefits to uh, posting your message uh, here uh, online in the forum itself. Uh, for example, I think it's quite easy just to do a quick cross post. So uh, once you've identified your initial community, it's uh, easy to just uh, add in another community to make that additional post rather than finding two separate uh, emails. You'll often see this um, happening, you know, estate and family or so small and another community. Uh, quite easy to make that cross posting here um, uh, using the, the editor um, on, on the website. Uh, enter in your subject and as you can see here you've got a lot more options than you'd normally find in an email editor. Uh, for example, you could even add in a, a video from Vimeo or YouTube if you wish. Uh, so you can add in that kind of content. You can edit your signature here uh, as well. You can even schedule this post uh, for a later time if you wish. So for example, if you think you might spark an active uh, conversation that you won't be able to participate in until the end of the day, you can draft it in the morning and then post that, um, uh, post that schedule that um, uh, item for a post later uh, in the day just by clicking on the, um, clicking on the schedule button here at the bottom. Choose the time and the date you wish to publish that uh, information. So great additional features um, you have here by uh, posting uh, online. Another cool feature um, uh, is the, the ability to post to a blog. Now, uh, why might you post to a blog rather than uh, as, a, as a message in a community? Uh, I, I think of a, um, a post um, uh, to a blog as really longer form content. 
something that's maybe not appropriate for uh, uh, posting in a in a community. So if you've identified a trend, for example, uh, in a in a community that some that folks are talking about regularly, and that that trend needs to be summarized. Well, uh, a blog post is a great way to do that. And I think actually what Tim Bayland is doing here um, with the coronavirus post is, is, is a great service to the, to the community because there's a lot of information coming in right now, um, uh, court orders and um, information from the governor and from, uh, from our various uh, mayors and uh, other elected leaders. There's a lot of information coming in. So it's a great opportunity to write a blog post, I think, because it summarizes content that we're seeing uh, come in um, uh, very sporadically, um, however frequently, in, in our communities. And so Tim, I think, is doing a great service here by collecting some of that information and posting it as a, as a blog post. As you can see here, too, there's also a lot of additional uh, editing features. Uh, you get this nice permalink, uh, which you can uh, share um, with, with colleagues and members even outside of the of the community. Uh, to, to post to a bl uh, blog, it's under the participate menu. Click on post to your blog. And again, it's just a very simple editor. You type in your title. Um, and then here again, you've got more advanced uh, editing features where you can add in the video and uh, upload a file. Um, you can even add in a table, um, more advanced editing features here. Uh, and then, as I say, one of the, the really cool things about the blog post is that this is something that you can share with the public. The default on the blog posts actually is to the public. It's not just for Minnesota State Bar Association members. It's for all members of the public. Not only members of the Bar Association uh, will be able to make a comment on the post, uh, but you can copy that um, permalink um, and share it uh, on your LinkedIn profile, for example. So just having this resource as part of your regular professional development, really a great uh, resource, uh, I think, for our members. So, so those are some additional features um, uh, that, you know, if you were just using uh, the communities at my.minbar.org exclusively through email, I hope uh, this has offered some uh, additional resources uh, for you. Um, I hope you take advantage of some of these. And as always, you're welcome to reach out to me directly if you need help with this or any of our other online services. Uh, I can be reached directly at 612-278-6336. Thanks a lot.